Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your splice sample loops a little bit more unique by just doing a simple, by just doing a simple few tricks uh, by chopping them up, basically. All right, so I have a sample loop here. So basically, that's the melody I got from Splice. Next, I'm going to add some EQ. All right. What I like to do is just cut off some of the low end. Uh, right here. And then I'm going to turn down the mids a little bit. And then I'm just going to duplicate this track. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double. I'm going to repitch re -pitch this um, track by uh, rather... I'm going to change the warp settings to complex, and then I'm going to transpose this sample um, down an octave, and then I'm going to hit the double original tempo. What it's going to do now is give it that kind of halftime effect. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a portion of the sample and just duplicate it. So this is what it sounds like now. Next, I'm going to just shift this up an octave. Uh, for the, and then I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna add a utility plugin um, just so that I mono this because it's kind of a low ending sound and I don't want it to move around too much. And next, what I like to do too is what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just insert, I'm going to duplicate this, and then I'm just delete this clip. And what I like to do is throw a little reverse chops in there. So like this, highlight a sample, uh, press Command E or Control E to chop, and then just drag it down. And it's a little tedious, but it's kind of cool, you know, to give your samples a bit more character. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're not just, you know, you're not just, you know, slapping a loop on the track and huh, adding drums, which is not bad in itself, but, you know, sometimes you just want to make things your own, you know? Okay. And then now that I got the chops that I like to use, I'm just going to select all of them i'm gonna hit the r button the r key on the keyboard and then this is what it sounds like all together and what i sometimes what i like to do is i'm gonna go a little bit further and just chop or duplicate a few of uh, the samples Alright, next what I'm going to do, uh, after I did all that, I'm just going to insert audio track and then I'm going to resample this.
So now that we have our resampled loop, we can continue to, to, to manipulate it a little bit more. I like to turn complex warping on, and then sometimes I like to just pitch um, to transpose it a little bit. And then you know you can always add some RC sauce. So I'm going to use I'm gonna try out one of my presets that I have. Be sure to check out my website soundsbysev.com and and cop my new uh, RC retro color uh, preset packs. Sounds pretty good so far. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just freeze it. And then I'm going to insert another audio track. And then I'm going to just hit the, I'm holding the option key on my keyboard to duplicate the audio. Well, rather, hold on a second. Yeah. All right, and, uh, and then now, what you also could do is take this loop that you we just created, insert a MIDI track, drag it in. Oh, sorry. Um, and we're gonna crop it, and then we're gonna hit the slice button, and then we're gonna hit slice by B, and then we're gonna uh, click. Make sure complex warping is on. I like to use that. You don't necessarily have to do the same. And then I'm going to change the um, the division of the slices. And I'm going to probably do like one, two. And then you can sort of like with your MIDI keyboard. Now you have the ability to play out these chops. So what you can do is you can create a cool pattern, insert a MIDI clip, you can either replay it, do, do this, And that and that's pretty much it you know we, we took a basic spice loop we flipped it a, a bunch of times um, and, you know and, and this is what we, we we were able to create you know with a, with a few a few just a few chops here and there we created this nice loop and let's let's take a look at what the original sound like so we can do like a a quick comparison. Um, turn warping off. Rather, than, I just leave that one. And and this is what and this is the original loop that we started off with. And this is what we did. That's pretty cool. We went in even a step further and chopped it up.
and that's pretty much it. And we virtually, you know, we really didn't use that many plugins. Um, simple process. It takes a little bit of time, but you know, it's, it's great. You know, you we took a sample from Spice and we made it our own. You know, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and please hit the like button and subscribe below. Thanks.